Hello and welcome to the Rec Room Portal Creator Initiative Overview video. This video will show everything that the Creator Initiative has and is able to do. First thing I want to say is that this is not a portal game. This is just a portal level creator where you can create your own portal levels inside. You can definitely make a portal game with these tools and we have example chambers to show exactly what you can do with it. But that's not the main goal of the project. Anyway, we are currently in the mechanics playground room where I show off all of, well, most of the mechanics in the uh, project. First thing I want to show off is obviously the portal gun. You can shoot portals anywhere and you can change the different portal by clicking on the end of the portal gun. And I can walk on through and I'm over here. It also maintains velocity and you can do stuff like this. Like that. You also have the emancipation grill or the fizzler. If you walk through this, it erases my portals and I cannot shoot portals through it. Now over here, we have a great thing. It's the cube. Now we have a cube here. I, I can pick it up, you know, just normally with my other hand or with the gun. It won't pick up if I'm at a down enough angle and I can move it around. I can place it on buttons as well. This is also one of the things that I wanted to introduce is the funnel. The funnel, we can change the polarity of it so it reverses and pulls you up and it's basically a tractor beam. Um, objects can also go through like that and you can change it like that and you can pull them out. And what's amazing about this is that the funnel can go through portals. So I can do stuff like, uh, so I can make it go up and I can make it go down and it goes through the portal. I can do that. It also can push me up sideways, any other direction. <clears throat> we also have the light bridges. The light bridges are pretty good because they are a platform that can go through the portal. You're able to do this jumping method. Uh, you can go through and come out the other end. And disabling it will make it stop going through. You're able to do it. Uh, oh, the laser. The laser is pretty cool because, as you guessed, it can go through portals. Go like that. And then there's the laser catcher that catches the laser coming out of a portal or if a laser redirection cube. The redirection cube can redirect lasers in a direction obviously by its name. You can do that, or you can do something uh, maybe like that, where it's coming at an angle and it redirects it. Uh, cubes can also get fizzled by the fizzler, and they can auto-respawn if you set it to auto-respawn. We also have a very great thing over here that I love so much, it is the gels. You have the repulsion and propulsion gel. There's also the conversion gel, but I didn't have enough ink to put it in this room. But you know, propulsion gel speeds you up, and repulsion gel makes you bounce. And they can also go through portals, so I'm gonna put my portal here, portal there. It goes through. And it lands just like that. They can also go on walls. Gotta try and find a good place to 
make this go through a wall. This might go through. I'm not sure. It didn't go on the wall, but, you know, it can go on walls and it can go on other surfaces. It can go on any surface and it, it will work. You can also disable the Emancipation Grid, like that. And that is, that is most of the things. Not all of them, though, because there is a lot more. Oh, yeah. We have the Aerial Faith Plate. I completely forgot about this. Um... But, you know, it launches the player in whatever direction it's really pointed at. It can also work for uh, objects like cubes and stuff. Um, now I'm going to hop over to a testing room or a template room and show exactly uh, how you connect this stuff and uh, use the portal creator to its fullest. So now I'm currently in the portal template for the clean version. It includes the beginning and the end of the level, as well as the portal gun, the gels, and some other stuff. <clears throat> and let's just go to my palette here, and I'll search up by PRTL. This is how you'll be able to put things into your level. Uh, if you search by PRTL, all of these objects will pop up, and there's a lot of them. Um, but I, I just kind of want to get some stuff here, so I'll search up pedestal button. I'll we'll spawn right here. We can do PRTL cube. The cube dropper. Right there. Now that we have these two objects, you might be wondering how in the world do you connect them together? Because I want to have it so I press this button and then a cube pops out from this cube dropper. Well, it's pretty simple. First thing I want to take a look at is this. The cube dropper has a circuit board with auto spawn. You can, it's already preset as one, so whenever it gets destroyed by a fizzler or goes in goo, it will then automatically respawn it from the dropper. But if you don't want that, you can change that to zero by configuring it and changing it to zero, uh, and it will not auto-spawn unless you specifically say otherwise. Anyway, the way that you connect things is by taking the ore chips from either of these you know, inputs and outputs, take the red pin from this pedestal button's input from the ore chip, and then you just wire it over to this ore chip. It is as simple as that. Everything else is behind the scenes and seamless. I'm able to press the button to get a new cube. And I can drop it down there. And uh, let, let's say I get, uh, let's say Fizzler here. Okay, just to kind of show, uh, if I bring back the cube, and if I throw it in the fizzler, it will then get rid of it and auto-spawn it. But if we turn off auto-spawn, and we spawn in the cube again, if I throw the cube in, it will destroy itself but it won't spawn the cube in. And that's really the basics of connecting everything. The only thing that you have to watch out for is ink, because some of these things do take up a lot of ink, but you are able to create some really good chambers in the process by using this. I really hope, and I'm really excited for you all to get your hands on this portal level creator and get creating. See you on January 5th.